Late Night Talk Show. I'm your host, Mia Tavian. I'm proud to announce that today we will be interviewing the famous 1920s artist from Hartford, Connecticut, Laura Wheeler Waring. <clears throat> Hello, Mia. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, you're very welcome. How are you? I'm very well, and I'm super excited to be on the show today. Well, great. We have a lot in store today. So, let's get started. Yeah, for sure. So we all know you're an amazing painter, am I right? And I bet we're all wondering the same question. When did you realize you wanted to paint and wanted to do it for a living? Well, I was quite young when I realized I wanted to start painting for a living. It's something I've always loved to do. Even since I was a kid, I wanted to continue with it forever. Well, that's fascinating. I wish I had a passion for something like yours for painting. Now your paintings are very beautiful, detailed paintings. What are the meanings behind most of your paintings? Well, thank you, first of all. Second of all, my paintings are designed to stop the stereotypes most people believe about African Americans. My main goal and my focus in my art, though, was to make education available to African Americans. What kind of paintings do you illustrate? I like to illustrate mostly landscapes and portraits. Landscapes and portraits of what? Well, landscapes of mostly America and Europe. I also like to illustrate pictures of W.E.B. Du Bois and James Weldon Johnson. W.E.B. Du Bois? I think I know that name from a class I took in 10th grade. Oh, well. That's the topic. Laura, you're so inspiring. Aw, thank you, Mia. You know, I could say the same about you. I love your show. Actually, my parents do too. Isn't that funny? We always watch it together. Well, what can I say? I do my best. Thank you. Anyway, uh, speaking of your parents, what did they do to influence your career choices? Well, my mom was an amateur painter, and my dad was a school teacher. They knew where I was coming from and knew that I wanted to do what I loved every day. So they always encouraged me to follow my dreams, so that's what I did. And look where it got you today. I'm sure you've had plenty of success in your career life also. Would you mind sharing what kind of successes you've had in your life so far? Well, I don't want to be cocky, but I am the sixth generation of college graduates in my family. It's a little irregular for any African American to graduate from any school in the 1920s. So that was a huge accomplishment for me. That's awesome. That must have made your parents so proud. Anything else? Hmm, let's see. Multiple paintings of mine were actually a part of the Harmon Foundation exhibit. Oh yeah, I've, I've heard of that. Yeah, and more African American artists were part of it too, so it was pretty cool. That is so amazing. You must be so proud with all the work you've accomplished in your life. So are those the only art careers you've had in your life so far? Or is there more? Well, I studied at the Shady University College, and after a couple years after I came back, they hired me as the head of the music and art department. It was so cool and such an honor, and I'm so blessed to be part of all the opportunities I have to deal with art. I'm sure you are. I meant to ask you this earlier, actually. I'm just dying to know. Have you ever traveled around the country or around the world for your art? Oh yeah, of course. Let's see. I've been to Europe, London... Ireland, I've been to Italy, France. This girl goes everywhere! <laughs> North Africa, yeah, basically all around the world. It's awesome to see art expressed through all these different cultures. I bet it's a beautiful sight. So I hear all about your husband, Walter, is it? Do you like traveling the world going on your art adventures with your husband? Yes, I do. Walter and I are both art teachers, so we both share a common interest, you know? Mm -hmm. So traveling the world with a person you love is just a great thing to do. I would definitely agree with you, Laura. Except for the fact that I'm not married. That's okay. Well, we should be wrapping up soon. Mm, okay. But I have to say, talking about your paintings for all this time really makes me want to actually look at your paintings. And I'm sure the audience feels the same way. To the clip! <laughs> Amazing. Thanks for coming on the show. It was such a great opportunity to interview you. Looks like that's all we have for the show today. I'm Yutavi, and see you next week on The Late Night with our special guest star, Patrick Ignani. It's an episode you won't want to miss, folks. Uh -huh.